Hey fam, welcome back. Some I do two videos in one day. That girl means business, okay? But welcome back. I'm about to show y'all how to cook cabbage quick and simple. You know what I'm saying? Something different too. Because I know how black people cook their cabbage, you know what I'm saying? Because I am. <laughs> so I'm going to show y'all something different, okay? Now, get you some onions. Okay, now like I told y'all before, I'm not a chef. I barely measure stuff, okay? This is like half an onion. Get you an onion. Just get an onion, okay? Chop it up, okay? I'm just going to show y'all a different way to cook it. You ain't got to do it my way, but I'm trying to show you the best way, okay? Ah, you caught that? Got it? Good. All right. So, get you some olive oil. Some olive oil. Olive oil. All people get Crisco cooking oil. We got to step out of that box, okay? Get you some olive oil. About two tablespoons. I'm going to measure this because this can be real oily, okay? Two tablespoons, okay? Two. You got your one. Take y'all back to kindergarten, okay? Two. Two tablespoons of olive oil, okay? I mean, this is for one cabbage. This is what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, okay? Turn your fire on. Put on medium, you know, maybe a little higher than medium, but not to where you'll burn your house down, okay? Bam. Now, get your olive oil in the pan, okay? And now we're about to add our onions. Your onions in the pan. Let's add our onions. You want to saute those onions in that olive oil for a couple minutes, you know, two, three minutes. So all my onions are in the pan, okay? In the pan. Now, I need, this is what I need, I'm looking for. A wooden spoon. Because these are some good pans. And my husband might kill me if he see me use my fork and keep jabbing at the pan. So I'm gonna use a wooden spoon. And I'm just gonna stir that around. Stir it around, you know what I'm saying? And as this is sauteing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna cut up my cabbage. Cut it up. Wash your cabbage, okay? You know how many people touch the cabbage that you were about to eat? Take all that top of layer off. Take that off. Throw it in the garbage. Uh uh. I don't think enough water can cure all those germs on there, okay? Throw it in the garbage. Wash your cabbage. Really good. Get your cabbage. One cabbage, okay? And then you're gonna chop it up. Chop it up, okay? So we are going to chop this cabbage up. That is what we are going to do. How are your day going? How's your day going? <laughs> Mine is going fabulous. You know why? Because I am off work for a few days, okay? And I ain't gotta worry about getting up early. So, look at that. Did you hear that sound? Do you hear it? Oh, love hearing that sound. Yes, let them onions. Ooh, it smells good. So I'm cutting up one cabbage. One, say it with me. One cabbage, not half a cabbage, not two cabbage, one cabbage. One cabbage, so, so far we have put in two tablespoons of olive oil. I don't care what brand of olive oil you use, just get some olive oil. Now, you hear it? Mm, smells good. Now I'm going to throw my cabbage that I've already cut up, or I just cut it up in front of y'all. In here, I don't want this bottom part, don't want that. But, the rest of it, look, cutting it up, put it in here, cabbage is so good, y'all, I swear it's good. Y'all get y'all some cabbage in y'all life. I'm make some corned beef with this, corned beef sandwiches with some cabbage, ooh! I'm gonna be jamming, but okay, we are putting, and this goes good with red cabbage too. This recipe goes really well with a red cabbage, so purple cabbage, whatever color you want to call it, red, purple, the other color cabbage, okay? We're putting that all in that pan. And all this is going to cook down, too. You're going to be like, what happened to all the cabbage? It cooks down. Okay. So, now this is in there, you want to kind of stir it around so I can get that olive oil on it. 
Don't be scared to put your hand in your pan. As long as your hand is clean, is your pan, is your food, you all right? You good. You are good. We're going to put that in there. I'm going to put a lid on it for like a minute. Just about a minute or two. You know what I'm saying? I got to find my lid, though. For about a minute or two, you put your lid on there, and then we go add something else. I got your whole... Let me go find a lid. Bam! Got the lid. Put that on there for a second. As that is on there, we are going to... I don't know if y'all got measuring cups, but you need a measuring cup in your life if you want to cook okay you get your measuring cup now get you some vinegar vinegar did y'all know vinegar bring out the flavor in a lot of stuff vinegar. i only thought you people use it for greens you know what i'm saying something else that people use back in the day we ain't gonna talk about that right now but if y'all know what i'm talking about back in the day they used to use this to take care of personal issues. <laughs> but get you some vinegar. I don't know. Um, it depends on depends on you really. I don't really use as much. Um, probably use two ounces. Yeah, about two ounces of vinegar. Not that much because vinegar is strong. Not that much. I don't use that much. It depends on how much cabbage you're cooking and how much of the taste. A vinegar you like oh, yeah. so then i add my vinegar in there let's add the vinegar Ooh we're going to add that vinegar in there close it back up bam 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 okay now at this point start throwing your cabbage crap in the garbage okay why that cabbage sit for a second okay so let's go get rid of this and let that just keep cooking. Put your stuff on medium. Put your stuff on medium, okay? As you're throwing your stuff in the garbage, let it keep cooking. Don't bother it, okay? Let's throw this in the garbage. Be right back. All right. Now my husband not here, so I'm gonna use a fork. He don't want me to use fork on these good new pans. He want me to use a wooden spoon. We got like three or four wooden spoons around here. But I'm about to use a fork because he not here. Who go tell on me? Who go tell on me? Bam! I'm ready for business. Look at that. Look at that. It's already cooking down. It's already cooking down. I don't want that. Look at that. I don't want that end in there. Nope. Take that end part out. Don't want that. I am. Oh, smelling good already. So you're just going to stir that up a little bit. Because now you can actually move it around because it's starting to cook and shrink. So that is what I'm doing. Ooh, we don't waste no food around here. It ain't hit the flow. We're going to put that back in there. Okay. So we got that. So, so far, we've added two tablespoons of olive oil. And then you add your onions. Let that saute for about two to three minutes. And then you put your vinegar. I use about two ounces. You can use less. You can use more. I don't use two ounces for one head of cabbage. Your vinegar. Okay? Get you some vinegar in your life. Sugar. As it's cooking, you start to add your sugar. I don't never take measurements with sugar. And sugar is always good, okay? You just add what you want to add. You just add how you like it, you know what I'm saying? And as you're cooking and tasting, you can go back and add more sugar, which I will do. I already know I will. And you're going to mix that in. Look at how it's cooking down so fast. So fast. It's already cooking down. So, you stir that up some more. Mmm. Get you some pepper, pepper in your life. We're going to sprinkle, 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 pepper. Get you some salt. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. 
Ooh, throw that over your shoulder. You know I ain't got to have no bad luck, okay? Take your fork. Stir it all up. Look at that. Can y'all see it? It already just shrunk all the way down. Look at that. Don't lift that pan. You know what I'm saying? If y'all not a professional, y'all don't know how hot that's going to be. You know what I'm saying? These are professional hands, okay? I'm used to cooking. Now, but for y'all, don't be lifting a hot pan. Hot pot, whatever you want to call it. So, all you have to do now is let this simmer. I, I let mine simmer for a long time because I like mine to be really, like, chewy. Not gummy, not but chewy. You know what I'm saying? I don't, want to, I don't want any hard cabbage. So it all depends on how you like your cabbage. I let mine cook down for a while until I know is how it is. Like caramelized onions. You know what I'm saying? Something like that texture. But that's all you gotta do. Put your lid back on. Put it on low. After you put all the ingredients in, put it on low. Low, low, low. That's all you gotta do. So when you are making your cabbage, simple. Get you a cabbage. You can use green or red. Get you some olive oil. Put two tablespoons of olive oil in the pan. Then add half an onion. Whole onion depends on how much you want. You know what I'm saying? It's all on you. This is what you got to eat. Add your onion. I usually do half. Add an onion. Chop it up. Throw it in the pan. Let it saute in the olive oil for about two, three, four minutes. Whatever. Get your cabbage. Chop it up. Chop it up. Throw it in the pan. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Then add your vinegar. Yes, your vinegar, okay? I use just white vinegar. That's just what I use, white vinegar. I usually use about two ounces, you know, just a little bit, not too much. You can use more if you want, that's on you. It's gonna be a little strong. I only use about two ounces. Sprinkle that in there. Stir, 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 okay? Then you sprinkle your sugar, how much you want. I love sugar, I usually put a lot. Then you sprinkle it with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Not a lot of pepper, not a lot of salt, okay? And if you like me, you take some of that salt. Shh, shh. Am I got time for bad luck? It's 2020, okay? We got time for no more issues in 2020. I just want a peaceful life and eat my cabbage. That's not what I'm trying to do, okay? So, and then you put it on low. I have to put all those ingredients in there. Ingredients in there. You put it on low. Let it cook until you think it's done. I like mine to cook for a while. That's just how I like it. So, that is how you can cook cabbage a different way. You ain't got to add no water. You ain't got to let it simmer for hours if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? It's a quick, easy way. Some people let theirs cook for 30 minutes, 20 minutes. At least let it cook for 20 minutes, okay? At least. I let mine cook, honestly, probably for about 35, 40 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Because I like mine to be soft. I just do. But that's me. So, you can, you know, open up the lid, stir it, test it out. But that's simple. All you need is olive oil, vinegar, salt, black pepper, sugar, and onions, and a cabbage. Seven ingredients. That's all you need. Something different. Cook it. It's going to taste good. Okay? Thank me later. Okay? Like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere, fam. Like, comment, subscribe, please.